The screen flickered for a moment as the Trideo buffered. The Council of Elders leaned forward, chittering as they wanted to see the human reply to their ultimatum. Eventually, the blue and white planet in the display stopped spinning, dissolved, and was replaced with a human figure. The human looked straight at the Trideo pickups, baring its fangs and teeth in a way that made several of the elders pull their eyes back in their skulls. It started to speak. We have received your transmission, and the General Assembly has provided me with the following prepared statement. The human's prehensile multi-fingered appendages dipped out of view for a second, before bringing up a single sheet of compressed plant material. The human took a breath and started reading from it. You wish to wage war on us, because your elders feel that humanity is polluting your culture with cheap entertainment and access to the galaxy net. You wish to wage war on us, because your manufacturers feel that humanity is undercutting them. You wish to wage war on us, because your farmers feel that their wares cannot compete with imported food. You wish to wage war on us, because your traders feel that humanity is taking more than our share of the market. Very well. Declare war, if that is your desire. The human looked up from the sheet, its forward-facing eyes seemingly staring straight at each of the council, before continuing. But know this, we won't fight you in open battles, we won't invade your planets nor destroy your fleets, we will sanction you, we will stop trading with you, so your traders lose access to seventeen human worlds, no lucrative export of rare delicacies or esoteric trade goods. No more imported food, no more fertilizers and tailored pesticides, no more inexpensive raw materials for your industry, no more little luxuries for your elders, nor silky garments for their homemakers. The human took a breath, its predatory eyes narrowing slightly as it went on. We will cut you off from the galaxy net, so there will be no more news, knowledge, nor near-instant communications. Your younglings and homemakers will no longer be able to watch their wretched space operas, your elders cannot keep abreast of what happens outside their gravity wells. Communications drop back to sublight. The human carefully lowered the sheet of plant material, then placed the fingers of each upper appendages against each other, holding them like a triangle in front of its powerful jaw. Your traders will run out of money because their markets have evaporated. Your farms will become fallow and blighted because the soil is exhausted and the pests resistant. Your industry will grind to a halt because they will lack both needed materials and a market. Your leaders will be as if blind and mute, fumbling in the dark for answers that will never come. Your people will starve and be out of work, and there will be nothing on the Tri-D to distract and soothe them. The human seems to grow larger on the screen as it went on in a monotone voice. There will be unease, there will be anger, there will be riots and barricades in the streets of your cities and towns. Your empire will crumble from within and without. The human leaned back, lowering its gripping appendages again. Its features seemed to soften along with its voice. And then we will come, one planet at a time, not with soldiers and weapons, but with food, shelter, trade, and an offer to join the human federation. You offer us war, we refuse that offer. The Tradeo pickups pulled back, showing more of the human, sitting behind a desk made from flat pieces of vegetable matter. You can prosper with human trade, access to our market as we access yours. You can access knowledge, news, and interactions with humanity on the galaxy net, just as humanity benefits from your knowledge and learns from interacting with you. You can enjoy our entertainment while we marvel over and discuss your rich culture. Or you can fall into disarray and be swallowed up by humanity, and over time become little more than a subculture on some human worlds. The elders of the Council started to chitter again, not in excitement, but in fear, as the human voice softly finished as the Trido went to black. It is your choice, after all. Just take your time. We can wait, even if you cannot.